This is a chest opener that's going to stretch the inside of your arm, the pecs. This is a really good pose for anybody who's on a computer a lot during the day, typing. Uh, we're not doing a lot of driving anymore, but that same motion, eating, all the stuff that brings the hands forward will tighten up your pecs and it'll weaken your back. So the tight pecs and a weak back creates that. So what's the opposite? Stretch your pecs and strengthen your back. So that's the idea with this pose called the Titanic. So I'm going to do it backwards so you can see the same way that I'm pointing. Take a wide stance. And if you have a five foot bar or even a six foot, the longer the better for this one. So switch it up if you have a six footer, grab that. Take your feet wide, your feet are parallel. Let's do the right hand. So I'm gonna cue right hand here. Take the bottom and put it behind your ankle and thread it through in front of the other ankle. So it's behind the right leg and in front of the left leg. See that? So it creates a little leverage. Take your right hand to the very end of your bar. Thumb is up. And now, if you have pain in the elbow or if you tend to hyperextend, keep a millimeter bend in your elbow. Left arm straight up, inhale. Now twist to your left and turn. And you should feel this stretching along your right arm, your right chest, all the way across. You're creating a little bit of leverage here. The bar should be taut. You can kind of spring it, but it's taut. The backhand, if you've got enough room to work with, you can reach all the way to the bar and hold. That's not always possible and that's fine. You can just put your hand behind your back if you can't reach the bar. Don't hyperextend this elbow. You're looking to stretch your chest. Comfortable breath here. Exhale. When you're ready to come out, take your left arm up in the air and rewind. Well done. Release and switch. Now the other side, left hand, feet are wide here. If your feet are too close, you'll get, you won't get very much of a stretch. Wide stance. Left hand behind the left leg in front of the right ankle. It's touching the floor here, right around where your thigh meets your butt kind of up at the top of your thigh, left hand here. And this is also why if you're tall, if you have long arms, the five footer might be too short. You need the six foot bar for this one. Right hand straight up, twist to your right, exhale. Feel the stretch along the left arm, left chest, opening that whole edge. And you can reach down, maybe grab the bar. And I'll show you from the front view again, you stay where you are. But you can see how we're opening across here, this whole chest. You're strengthening your back, opening your chest, expanding your collarbones. Go ahead and release and return. Well done. As always, you want to make sure you're not hyperextending any joints. If you're very flexible, sometimes people can bend their elbow backward. If that's you, keep a little bend. Yoga sometimes rewards the flexible. People think, oh, I'm doing so good. But you might be overstretching. About 10% of people, I think, are hypermobile. 5 to 10% of people are so stretchy, they actually don't need more flexibility. They need more stability. So be careful on those extra stretches with the leverage to make sure you're keeping the joints from overextending. That's always just across the board, always good to remember.